Peace and power family. Welcome back to Unto Re with B. And this is Quotes to Live By, a series where I talk about my favorite books and the favorite quotes from inside of them. Our first book is going to be all about love, new visions by Bell Hooks because Bell is the shit and this book slaps. So the first quote I want to start with comes from the introduction and it says, the search for love continues even in the face of great odds. Now, not only does this summarize the whole book, but it really shows us the power and the strength of love. Despite whatever we got going on, despite our heartaches, despite our pain, despite work shit, we are always in the end looking for love. And I think this quote sums that up so well. The next quote I have is... It had become hard for me to continue to believe in love's promise when everywhere I turned, the enchantment of power or the terror of fear overshadowed the will to love. Let me run it back because I like this one segment. Everywhere I turned, the enchantment of power or the terror of fear overshadow the will to love fam how many times do you find yourself worrying about power and fear these two things block our blessings so much in life bro so much and i think that her pointing this out literally page two of the book goes to show just how deep she has gone to find that real love and how powerful it probably is if she's seeing it past the enchantment of power, past the terror of fear. These two things are our biggest obstacles on our journey to love, right? They distract, they get in the way, and they block us from actually even seeing real love. We can't even see love because of the power and the fear. Mm. Next quote, next quote. We yearn for love, that we seek it, even when we lack hope that it can really be found. One more time. We yearn for love, that we seek it, even when we lack hope that it really can be found. Bam. Love is like an alien. (laughs) Love is like an alien or heaven, right? We cannot see it, but we hoping and we praying that somebody going to come take us off this ghetto ass earth. (laughs) And we're praying that we do everything that we supposed to do in this life. We'll make it to heaven right it's not something that we see it's not something that everybody believes in you know what i'm saying that anybody can really explain it's just some shit that we know it's some shit that we just like fam it gotta be real love gotta be real what else is there what else am i fighting for if it's not real we hope and we yearn for it even when we have never really even felt it and i thought that was an amazing amazing quote the next quote is they will be so fearful of the pain of disappointment that they will forego the possibilities of love and joy and you know she's talking about she's talking about us she's talking about the youth she's talking about the babies that's coming after her right they will be so fearful they go that fear again of the pain of disappointment that they will forego the possibilities of love and joy. How many motherfuckers you know now talking about fuck love? How many people you know talking about I can do bad all by myself? How many people do you know that's just out here doing what the fuck ever because love ain't real? That shit for the birds money over bitches you know what i'm saying money make me come all this shit all this bullshit because we already read in the quote despite anything despite everything we are looking for love 
are us, the youth, the next generation of parents. We are the ones who are using that fear of disappointment as a crutch is getting in the way. It's blocking us from really not only experiencing ourselves and loving ourselves, but finding that person that we want out there that could match us because we haven't even tried to love ourselves. How are we trying to love somebody else? We so scared of love. We can't even love on ourselves. Like self-love, which I talk about all the time, is a hot topic. Why is loving yourself a hot topic? Because of the fear of disappointment. We even scared we're going to fail ourselves. Mm, let me, let me move on. Let me move on. I'm getting too deep. I'm getting too deep. <laughs> the last quote that I want to talk about for right now from the introduction is all the great movements for social justice in our society have strongly emphasized a love ethic again all the great movements for social justice in our society have strongly emphasized a love ethic fam it's the foundation for success all the great movements how we got to where we are today women black folks queer folks is via love love it's the base it's the foundation it's step number one okay step number one love it is what it is and i think that that quote is so important because so often we're looking for the theory we're looking for like what in the world is it why am i feeling this way what do i need to make me feel this way what does this movement need to really work what does it need what does it need and in the end it's always 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 love all right see y'all next time for chapter one in quotes to live by